Good morning, everybody. So I'm sitting here in this really cool 69 280S that we just finished that belongs to one of our subscribers. It's about to go home this morning, so I'm getting one last test drive in. Look at how smooth this car is. It's just sitting here, literally idling like it's brand new. Taking off from a fast start. Don't see this every day. A 250S that runs so beautiful, 280S that runs so beautifully. Anyway, so here's what I wanted to talk about. This Thursday, October uh, 22nd, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, MBCA is going to uh, hold another Zoom session, and this one's going to be on diesel injection. If you're watching this because of Zenith carburetors, uh, that's going to be coming up later. But anyway, what I want to do is develop a survey and trade access to our Zoom session to MBCA members. Uh, if they'll fill out a little survey. And the survey is basically on what non-MBCA members think of MBCA. So I, I haven't, I'm not saying that the MBCA has done a bad job of data collection, but if you want to grow an organization, you can't survey your own members. You need to survey people who are not members, yet people who share the same uh, value system that you do. And um, this is very important because I think a lot of people who own classic Mercedes either don't want to join or are not aware of or have lost interest in MBCA. And so I want to collect a little bit of information about this and in exchange, you guys get to participate in uh, my MBCA members only live Zoom session on diesel fuel injection systems, which I'm really happy to do. So anyway, um, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people, look, a lot of people have told me before that there's no way they'd ever join Mercedes-Benz Club of America. And I get that. You know, I get that. But for the rest of you that might be on the fence or... Uh, I don't know if any of you ever watched that uh, podcast between Jordan Belfort and Grant Cardone. According to Grant Cardone, not interested is a level of interest, however far-fetched that sounds. But what, I, my, what I'm banking on here is that if some of you are interested in Mercedes, but you're not interested in joining MBCA, I'm trying to figure out as a, if, it, if there's a way I can change that opinion or not. Because changing people's opinions is extremely hard. You know, I mean, think about arguing with people on Facebook about their opinions being wrong or right. You're never gonna change anybody's mind. It won't accomplish anything, you know? But in this case, I'm hoping that people that really have an interest in preserving these cars will join my efforts to make MBCA a classic Mercedes-centric car club. And I can't do it without you know, a bunch of you guys. I mean, I know everybody's like, oh, MBCA should serve everybody's interest. But let's face it, I believe, and I think a lot of you believe, that the core of MBCA centers around classic Mercedes and not, you know, these new normie cars that Mercedes is making that are supposed to appeal to everybody who has money and maybe not that much taste. You know, I, I don't, I don't think there's anything great about new Mercedes, but I think that classic Mercedes are, truthfully speaking, a really wonderful uh, example of why classic cars should be celebrated. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my short little live, my short little video here. Look in the description for the link to the survey. Fill it out. Join us. Limited spots. We have like 50 spots. So um, see you then.